Hi, my scholars. My name is Abiola, and in this school channel, we are tackling the Jam CBT past question for the subject biology, the year 2015. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this video segment we are solving questions 21 to 40. So join me as we start with question 21. One of these is present in both plant and animal cell. Alright, so the correct answer here is the cell membrane. Alright, this, um, this part is present in both plant and animal cell. Um, the cellular cell wall that is present in plants but absent in animal cell. The chloroplast, of course, that is for chlorophyll, for the synthesis, um, that is present in plant cell but not in animal cell. Of course, we have um, the cell vacuole, all right? It can be large in plants, but in animal, it can be present but small, all right? So, the correct answer, or the most viable option here is option A for cell membrane. Question 22. Uh, when the solute concentration of the cell and its surrounding medium are the same, the solution is said to be what? That is an isotonic solution. The concentration in the surrounding and the concentration in the cell is the same. That is isotonic. Hypertonic, the solution in the surrounding is higher than what we have in the cell. Hypotonic, the reverse, all right. Acidic, okay, that talks about an, an acid medium, all right, whose pH is less than 7. You know, the, the lower you go on the pH scale, I'm talking about you going back from 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is how the acidity increases. So, the correct option here is option C for isotonic. 23. The primary consumer in the food chain below is what? Okay, so we have this food chain from the green plant to grasshopper, lizard, snake, and oak. So, uh, just notice the primary consumer, they feed directly on the primary producers, okay? And this is your producer, the primary producer here. Then this should be your primary consumer, all right? The trophic level one, trophic level two. I can make that presentation. So, the primary consumer in the food chain below is what? Is found in option A, the grass upper. 24. Angiosperms belong to the class of what? Okay, they belong to this class of the spermatophytes. All right, so you know the spermatophytes, the flowering plants. Okay, they can be gymnosperms or angiosperms. Gymnosperms talking about naked seeds, angiosperm enclosed within the fruit. And the angiosperms can either be a monocot or a dicot. Monocotyledon, dicotyledon. So angiosperm belongs to the class spermatophyte. So option C is correct. Bryophyte, we're talking about liverwort and mosses. Um, we are uh, pteridophyte, we're talking about ferns. Okay. Talophytics or talophytes, you're talking about uh, the simple green aquatic plants. All right. So the correct option here is option C for spermatophyte. Question number 25. In the kidney, both useful substances and waste are removed. Take note of that. Are removed from the blood by what? Okay. So when you talk about um, the process of urine formation, we have three major ones. All right. We have um, the ultra filtration. We have the selective reabsorption. And we have the hormonal or tubular secretion. Okay. So the whole um, contention lies between ultrafiltration, all right, and selective reabsorption. So the question is, in the kidney, all right, both useful substances and waste are removed from the blood by what, okay? At this point, this describes ultrafiltration. This is what happens during ultrafiltration, all right? Um, you know, the renal artery supplies blood to the kidney. So this blood circulates, all right, in the capillaries or through the glomerulus of each woman's capsule. So while it is there, um, certain substances in the blood, okay, like sugar, like salt, like some nitrogenous compounds, okay, they are being filtered from, all right, into, from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule. 
Okay, so that means both the useful ones and the waste are being temporarily moved into the Bowman's capsule. Okay, so that is the ultra filtration. So that process of the movement of those, um, both the useful ones and the waste from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule, that is ultra filtration. Okay, now going to B, selective absorption. Okay, this is where um, the useful things or the useful substances are being reabsorbed back into the capillaries. All right. So this is what this this takes place at um, proximal convoluted tubules. Okay, or even it even takes place at the end-length loop. All right, whichever one you want to talk about okay it is at that point that the useful substances like water like salt like sugar are being reabsorbed back just like the name emphasizes then the last one um the hormonal or tubular secretion that is where um urine is being formed the secretion of adh and what have you so the correct option is option a you know dialysis machine where there is an issue with the kidney this is what they use to for um to, to carry out homeostasis, all right? Then excretion, you know, removal of waste from the body, all right? This is just temporary removal. There's still a kind of um, reversal of some useful ones. So at this point, we say in the kidney, both useful substances and waste are removed from the blood innocently, all right? So the correct option here is option A for filtration or properly put, ultra filtration. Do not forget that you can get any of the MySchool tools, either the MySchool mobile app or the MySchool software. All you need to do, click on that link in the description below. It's going to take you to the MySchool website where you have enough information and straight through channel on how you can get any of these tools. So join me as we solve question 26. Which of the following is not part of the mammalian male reproductive organ or the system? All right. So um, all of this, Okay, A, B, and C, that is for the male. This is female, the external um, part, that external opening, the vulva. All right, that's external. That's for the female. You know, when you talk about the testes, that's where you're talking about um, sperm production. You know, from the testes, there's a linkage, the seminiferous um, tubule, then to the epidermis. Okay, then from here, it links into this place, which is referred to as the sperm dot or the vas deferens. Okay, so then this goes into the urethra. So all of this is um, pointing to the male reproductive organ or the system to put. This is for the female. So option D is the correct option. Don't forget that you have to hit the like button. Also click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video clip. 27. Which of the following reagents is used for testing the presence of protein in food? Okay, so those reagents, they are the millions reagents, okay, and the buret solution. Okay, so that's option C, the Benedict solution, okay, or the uh, felling solution they are used to test for um, sugars generally. Okay, um, Sudan 3 is used to test for fats. So the correct option here is option C for millions reagents. 28. The breaking down of food in the alimentary canal is called what? Okay, uh, you should just know this in most olozoic anima, the digestion and absorption okay, of food takes place or occur in the alimentary canal or the gut. And this is a very good. Um, example for or description for extracellular kind of digestion so the correct option here is option a for digestion so option a is very correct number 29 the following are the functions of the kidneys except what okay the kidney is responsible for osmotic pressure the balance the regulation of it you know removing nitrogen or some waste from the body okay so we have our option A. Option A is correct. That's one of the functions of the kidney, you know, maintaining, talking about homeostasis, maintenance of internal environment, regulation of it. Uh, we have um, removal of waste products from the blood. That is very correct. So remember um, that ultra filtration that occurs between the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. Okay, so um, excretion of CO2, don't be deceived or uh, mis um, misdirected by the term excretion here removal of co2 okay is also all right so this this happens 
with or through the lungs, okay, the alveolar and um, most of the bronchioles from the bronchioles to the bronchioles, windpipe, then it goes out through the nose or through the mouth, CO2. So this is done by the lungs, majorly by the lungs. So all of these are the functions of the kidney. So the correct option here is option C, excretion of CO2. Question 30. The following disrupts the balance in an ecosystem except all right, take note of that um, word except, you know, ecosystem, We're talking about the biotic and the abiotic factors. So um, we'll, let's look at um, the, those ones that actually disrupt balance in the ecosystem. Um, the first, we have option A, we have afforestation. Okay, in afforestation, you're introducing trees, probably to where there was no tree, the way there were no trees before. Okay, so afforestation actually um, induces or induces rather induces balance in the ecosystem all right it makes for balance you know the photosynthesis and all of that um, we have um, B deforestation deforestation actually disrupt the, uh, the ecosystem uh, because you know you, you, are, you are removing trees permanently all right to use it for other things and you know the function of trees in the balance of the ecosystem the biotic factors okay we have migration you know movement of in this context now let's talk about animals all right or insects from one particular geographical location to another of course you know the activities that they do that actually um, create balance in the ecosystem those activities are going to cease because of their absence okay or the presence of new kind of organisms going to cause a change in that um, ecosystem. So we are talking about pollution. Pollution as well too has um, a negative impact on the ecosystem, okay? Imagine um, the fall of acid rain due to the presence of SO2, sulfur oxide, other ones like um, carbon oxide and what have you. So the correct option here is afforestation. The following disrupt the balance in an ecosystem except what? Except afforestation in option A. Number 31. The following animals are viviparous, except what? Okay, when you talk about um, viviparous, you can also refer oviparous. Okay, so oviparous means they lay eggs. Example of oviparous animals, you're talking about the fishes, you're talking about the amphibians, you're talking about reptiles. Okay, they lay eggs. Why for viviparous? They do not. Okay, so if you look through all of the options that we have here, they give back to their younger life. Alive, alive, ten pigeons, birds, they lay eggs. Okay, so the correct answer here is option D for pigeons. 32. The following animals are invertebrates, except what? Okay, when you talk about um, invertebrates, we are looking at the kingdom Animalia, All right? At least what we are looking at here. So we will have the invertebrates and the vertebrates. Okay, so talking about the invertebrates, we have um, several kinds of phylum, all right? So for the flatworms, they belong to the phylum of platyemetes, okay? For the roundworms, we are looking at nematoda. Uh, chordate now, that is under the vertebrates, okay? And basically, I'm talking about backbone. To, to, to point, all right? Um, protozoa belongs to the kingdom of protists outside what we are working on here. So, and um, examples of, um, yeah, the, uh, we have the phylum uh, protozoa, okay? Examples like uh, paramecium amoeba. So, the correct option is option C for chordate. C is very correct. Question 33. The following are kidney diseases except what except hepatitis okay we have um the the virus type a virus type b okay we have the infective hepatitis and what have you you know diuresis when you are producing large quantity of dilute urine um glomerular nephritis okay uh, is a kind of a streptococcal infection it's common in um adolescents and children um talking about uh, oedema or drop C, you know, when there is accumulation of um, large quantity of intercellular fluids, okay, and it's, it's just somewhere in one of these tissues, and um, before you know, there is swelling, and you start seeing uh, signs like um, puffy faces, swollen ankles, and what have you. So, this, this, and this, they are kidney diseases. This is for liver. So, 
option B is the correct option. Question 34. The gland that releases hormones into the blood are part of the what? Okay, such gland belongs to the endocrine system. You know, you can talk about the pancreas, you can talk about the pituitary gland, you can talk about the adrenal glands and what have you. And when you talk about the digestive system, and this system handles um, digestion, okay, and absorption of um, <clears throat> food broken down for body use. Okay, so when you talk about circulatory system, transport of um, both useful and um, things that the body wants to remove, okay, um, just basically movement of um, nutrients or um, other things, movement of substances, yes, around the body. I think that is the right um, description. And then we have a um, respiratory system, you know, when you, when you, what comes to your mind when you say respiration, breathing in and breathing out, but there is more to that, okay? The reason for that is to be able to break down um, food being ingested so that it can release energy. Then this is where you talk about metabolism, catabolism, anabolism. So the correct option here is option B for endocrine system. The other type is the exocrine. It requires a dot for them to send in the substances that they produce, okay? But for endocrine system, whatever hormones they are releasing diffuses straight into the blood, okay? So the such gland belongs to the endocrine system. So option B is very correct. Number 35. One of the following is called emergency hormone in man, okay? That is your adrenaline. No, your adrenaline and your no adrenaline, they are emergency hormones fight or flight when you talk about prolactin you know that um, stimulates uh, milk production in pregnant women okay when you talk about testosterone responsible for development of uh, sexual male characteristics the secondary one okay so um, when you talk about um, tyroxine by the thyroid gland you know that um, talks about um, growth and development so the correct option here is option a for adrenaline Okay, fight or flight responses, the emergency hormone option A is very correct. Do not forget that those questions you would like to ask can be actually sent out. And then how do you do that? Click on the link, all right? It's going to take you to the My School website, all right? From this website, you are going to meet with our solution providers and they are going to help you out. So join me as we solve question 36. Which of these responses is not voluntarily controlled by the brain? Okay, so that is um, it's not something that you do consciously, all right? Something that you can choose not to do, okay? So that's, mm, that should uh, make us go through all of the options we have. You know, dancing, you can decide not to dance. So the brain has to coordinate your uh, dancing. You know, when you talk about um, eating, of course, you, you have to be aware that you are eating. Okay, when you talk about writing, you know, you have to um, put together your creative skill, your creative ability, your imagination as well, okay? So, all of, all of these um, items are pointed to, they are voluntary actions, okay? So, the involuntary one is your sneezing, you know, sometimes you can just be in between, or in between an activity and the sneezing just comes in suddenly, all right? Sometimes you have a spillage of fluids. On the items you are working with so that is involuntary okay so the correct option here is option c for sneezing it is very possible that you have better explanations or contributions you like to make please would like to know what you need to do use that comment section below indicate the question number and the explanations you like to share 37 the scientific study of life is what? Okay, that's biology. Bio means life. Logic, that's from Lugos. That means study. Okay, uh, we have botany, basically, to put study of plants. All right, zoology, animals, ecology, you are studying a particular organism in relation to the environment organisms at home. So, the correct option to the question we have here, which is the scientific study of life is what? That is biology option b 38 the heartery supplying the liver with blood is called what it's actually called the hepatic artery okay uh, we should know that the liver is the only organ that receives double blood supply from the heart you know the hepatic um, artery brings um, oxygen rich blood to it why the hepatic portal then okay actually from the gut 
or I try to bring um, um, blood containing digested food to it. So just take note of that concerning the liver. So the correct option here is option A, the hepatic artery. It supplies the liver with oxygen-rich blood. Option A is very correct. 39. Uh, one of the following exists as colonin. Okay, so when you take um, oglina and paramecium, all right, they belong to the phylum of um, protozoa. All right, another example of protozoa, you have your amoeba, and these are under the kingdom of protista. Kingdom protista. While if you look at Sparogyra and Vovox, they belong to the kingdom plantae, the phylum Talophyta. Okay, so Sparogyra exists as filament, Vovox. As colon. So the correct option here is option D for Vovox. 40. The translucency spot in food test shows the presence of what? The presence of fat. Another test for fat is um, the Sudan 3 test. Okay. If you want to test for starch, okay, we can talk about the felling solution generally. Okay. Um, if we are looking at um, water, okay, you can use the cobalt um, chloride paper. All right. So when you talk about uh, protein, we are looking at um, millions of reagents. Okay. So the correct answer here is option A for facts. We've come to the end of this video segment. But there are more video clips to come. All you need to do is to hit that like button. Also click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video segment.